the Manhattan skyline is always evolving. The latest real estate mega project, Hudson Yards. A $25 billion, 28-acre business, entertainment, and living complex. Engineered to sit on top of a railroad yard in Manhattan's far west side. The Eastern Rail Yards of Hudson Yards is a series of seven buildings. Some of the major attractions you would find here are the vessel, which is an interactive sculpture that 150 feet tall, and then the observation deck is at 1,100 feet. The developers approached Con Edison to power this massive endeavor, considered the biggest private real estate development in the U.S. Meet Rich Riccardi and Glennis Marmolejos, two of the hundreds of Con Edison workers who brought Hudson Yards to life. It took many, many different groups, many, many different hands. Everyone from our electric department and our gas department. It's a huge undertaking. Um, more than 15 groups in Con Edison were involved. Hundreds of people were involved. All, all together, there's 40, 13 kV, 1,000 uh, volt transformers. We needed to install um, six new feeders to feed the, the load. That, between the gas department, put in hundreds of feet of gas main. Con Edison and Hudson Yards worked together to create a microgrid. This allows Hudson Yards to island itself off of Con Edison's grid if necessary, relying solely on coal-generated power supplied by Con Edison's gas system. This cogeneration plant will run in parallel with Con Edison's grid to provide approximately 50% of the electricity and thermal utilities for Hudson Yards on an annual basis. This on a very large scale is the future of the power grid. Um, in smaller buildings, smaller homes, you'll see more of this coming in the future. Hudson Yards, not just a shopper's dream or New York's latest must-see. It's the transformation of the west side into the smart side of energy planning.